Today was also the first time Leoya's close friends and loved ones saw the video of his killing. News 8's Jacqueline Francis is here with their reaction. Jacqueline. As you can imagine, watching this video was especially traumatizing for those close with Patrick Leoya. After 14 years of friendship, Jimmy Barwin said Patrick was like a brother. They both immigrated from the Democratic Republic of Congo, excited about creating a life here in Grand Rapids. Like thousands of others this afternoon, Barwin live streamed the video showing Patrick's death, talking with us just moments later. You got somebody. They got somebody on the ground. They got somebody on the ground already sleeping. Why can't you just, you know, handcuff them or something? Yes, I understand there's a taser and all that stuff, but why not use any other legal force? You could have called for backup, anything. Why shoot him? Why kill him? What did he do to deserve that? And he was unarmed, no gun. I'm really sorry. I can't really speak right now. I'm feeling a lot of emotion. And it, it really hurts. It pains me. Every time I keep talking to her, I keep seeing his face. I keep replaying moments that we had dancing and all. It breaks me, man. How am I supposed to raise my kids here? And I don't have no kids here, but how am I, you know, how can I trust that they're going to be safe out here? The Leoya family will also be responding to the video during a news conference tomorrow afternoon with civil rights attorney Ben Crump. This will be Crump's second trip to Grand Rapids this week. This is video from the community forum he hosted Sunday after taking on the case. Crump also represented the families of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor. In the meantime, the Leoya family is asking for peace, not wanting any violence in Patrick's memory.